Hello and welcome to Ink Experts Sublimation Academy. Today we'll be looking at setting up an ICC profile for Epson printers in GIMP on Windows operating systems. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is open up an image to print. We're using the Sublimation Academy logo and we'll go ahead and open that up in GIMP. Now, with that open, it's all sized and ready to go. What we're going to want to do is assign our color profile. So we'll go to image, color management, and then in here we want convert to color profile. We don't want to click on assign color profile, but convert to. That will open a dialog box. And in here where it says convert to, we want to change this to the ink experts profile. One's already in here, but what you'll have to do is select color profile from disk and in here scroll through to the profile that we've provided. We're looking for the Ink Experts Sublinova Epson ET2650 profile and we'll click that and open that up. Now with that done, we need to change our rendering intent. Now there are four options in here and each one will change how the printer prints color. We often use perceptual as it gives the most realistic colors, but relative color metric will also allow you to print more vibrant colors. Do experiment with these and see which you prefer and which would suit your job better. We'll leave this on perceptual for now. And then we click convert. This has applied the color profile to the image and now all we need to do is print it. We go to File, Print, and in here we'll select the printer model as is the ET2650. Now we want to click on Preferences. And in here we need to change our paper type and quality settings to what is referred to on the back of your sublimation paper. As we're using the Ink Expert Subly Style paper, we need to change plain papers to matte paper and we need to change the quality to high. With that done, we then want to go to more options and we want to click mirror image so that the printer prints the image the correct way around for pressing. And then we need to change our color correction from automatic to custom. This will open up the advanced box and when we click here, that will give us our color controls. And now we want to turn our color management off. So we want to click no color adjustment and then click on OK. And we'll click OK again and our printer is ready to print. If we click print, that will push the job through to our machine and that's it, job done. I'll cancel this job off for now and minimize our window. And that's how you set up GIMP. Thanks for watching this video. For more, please visit inkexperts.co.uk forward slash sublimation academy and don't forget to like and subscribe.